Do you want to join us? No. A few moments later. All right, sisters, fans, this scene. Oh, whoo. First of all, let me just say people have been asking and even I went online to find out, but the song playing during the threesome between Robin, Andy and the girl. I say the girl because I looked at the end credits, but this um, beautiful woman played an uncredited role in the episode. But the song is called Under Covers by Eric Bellinger. Under Covers by Eric Bellinger. So, let me put it this way. I have no problem with the fact that there was a threesome that Andy kissed a girl and she liked it apparently. My issue is this came the hell out of nowhere. I know that I tweeted like I'm 30, but I felt dirty watching the, <laughs> the scene. Look. My mom wanted to watch Sisters with me that night, but she fell asleep because she was watching the Andy Griffith show in Hallmark movies and just passed out. So I went to my room and I was watching the episode. I'm like, ah, because she's, um, who was watching TV at the time? My mom fell asleep right before nine. I think my sister had the remote or something. I forgot. So I just went to my room and watched the episode. When this scene came on, first of all, the transition from the apartment, you know, where Andy and Gary were arguing that went direct. It's like the moment Gary shut the door when he left. That's when Robin opened the door and Andy was at the apartment. Like, what the hell? So after that, you know, she's like, oh, you have company. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't asleep, but you want to come in? And Andy was like, no, no, I don't want to join you. And then he's like, are you sure? But then he, you know, said it in a way that she decided to come in. Then she's sitting there watching these two having sex and while sipping on a drink because it's funny like even though the woman had no verbal lines in the uh no verbal or you know lines or any well i'm sorry while she had no dialogue her body language was saying all like she was kind of checking andy out and andy's like oh, i'm just going to stare at the wall here so then it got to the point where robin got up took the drink out of andy's hands and I will admit, KJ's body language here was hilarious. I feel like this is the same way Sabrina would react if she ever engaged into some of the freaky stuff that Calvin's into. But basically, she was, you know, put, you know, sat on the bed. And, <laughs> and then the girl started, you know, rubbing her head up against, you know, Andy's shoulder and the back of her neck and everything. And then they slowly take her blazer off. And then all of a sudden, she's warming up to it. It's like both of them start kissing her on the neck and shoulders and she's like tickled by it so she like you know caresses the woman's hand and everything they look each other in the eye and then um as before they start to kiss you have robin kissing on her other shoulder and then andy takes a look at him they start making out next thing you know it's her and the girl and then it's on and yeah that was andy's experience later on in the episode she asked for Timo about it and then it turned out she had a threesome as well with Ian being the guy that broke her heart before. And, you know, I mean, it seems like, well, I don't know if the threesome, if she specified if it was her and another woman in Ian or if it was her as the only female and two males in the bed. I don't know. But regardless, she said that wasn't something she liked. Now, here's the thing. Andy loved it. She it was different. It was new. But at the same time, she has no regret, no guilt, and doesn't care what that does to impact Gary emotionally. She did it for her, but at the same time, I think Chris Rock said it in one of his specials, like, men cannot go backwards sexually. Women cannot go backwards in terms of lifestyles. Like, if I date someone with a car in the house, every man I date at that point has to have a car or house. And... If a man has sex with a woman and she wears clear heels or whatever, then, you know, um, she, you know, her, you know, his uh, woman always has to wear pumps or something when they're having sex or it's not going to happen. So with Gary, I mean, excuse me, Robin, I guess this proves what happened in the promo where it's like, we would like to do it again. And then Andy's like, we, and then somebody comes through the door implying that it must be a third party coming in to have sex when it's just her and Robin. So I think that Andy is getting into a lot more than she bargained for. 
what was a one-time experience for her is something that Robin is accustomed to. Just like when it comes to um, Calvin, he told Sabrina, you know, hey, I'm into this stuff with Peggy, but if I'm with you and we don't do that stuff again, I'm okay with it. But it looks like with Robin, you know, Andy thinks she's just doing this to blow off some steam, no pun intended. But looking at the scene itself, I'm like, damn, it was a hot scene. But my biggest issue is, a lot of people have been telling me in the comment section of videos on Instagram and whatnot, they've kind of just, that was the final straw. Look, I don't know the reasoning behind it if it's like, okay, they went Andy way too far with kissing another woman. Um, nobody's really specified why they think they're done with Andy. It just doesn't seem like the Andy of season one. This seems like the more Gary pisses her off, the more recklessly she acts. So I'm not, again, I can't speak for somebody's comment that hasn't been specified, but I'm thinking that it doesn't have anything to do with the same sex kiss or anything. It's just the fact that it seems very messy of Andy to get involved in something like this only to spite Gary because it really eliminates what he, what she told for team at the end of the episode. Like, you know, but I'm still in love with uh, I'm still in love with Gary when she's like, look, F Gary and his drama. But that's the thing. I still love him. It's like if you love him, then how could you have sex with Robin? How could you have a threesome? Love is complicated. That's a flimsy way of looking at love. But then again, we live in the hookup culture. So there, it is what it is. But in my personal opinion, looking at the scene, well choreographed, well acted. If it was BET Plus, I'm pretty sure we would have seen a lot more than what we saw. The song was great. Looking back, uh, KJ, I got to give her props because her body language said it all. However, the scene just felt wrong for the episode because it just came out of nowhere. Remember last, well, week before last, the final scene should have been the makeup between Fatima and Zach. And then the beginning of this episode, even though I know people like myself would have complained about it dragging on too long. It should have focused all on the Gary stuff and Andy. And then there should have been a break, like let's say we go over to Karen and Aaron, and then we go over to Andy at the hotel, because I think the transitioning was all wrong, where you instantly go from her apartment to the hotel room, and then the threesome just happened out of nowhere, and it's like, well, we don't really, you know, see what impact it had on Andy, like, what, what was the look on her face when she woke up the next morning, you know, that kind of stuff, those things are key, sure, she was happy and all when she told Fatima, but it was one of those things where showing instead of telling would have probably told us a lot more. But those are my thoughts. Like I said, I just don't like the route they're taking Andy. Just like I don't like how Tyler is assassinating Karen's character for the sake of making Zatima look that much better. And yes, Zatima is what I usually say, not for Tima and Zach. So I'm not saying it wrong when I say Zatima. That's literally what I'm implying. So... Thanks so much for tuning in. What did you think of the scene? Like I said, it was hot when I looked back at it just now, but it just did not fit the tone of the episode whatsoever. This is something that, again, I, I thought it would have been like Sabrina, like if Calvin and Peggy and her were together. But for Andy to do this kind of thing, it just seems like the more Gary pisses her off, per se, the more recklessly she's going to act. And I just... I, I just don't believe this is Andy. You know what I mean? It's just, this is completely out of character. But, hey, whatever her forte is. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. As always, like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I will talk to you soon.